The more you know about your DNA, the more you know about yourself. I do things a little differently now. Eat better, ask more questions. It's going to get intimate. My DNA test got in. Why did I take a DNA test? Well, my endocrinologist suggested that I do it because my blood test showed uh, quite a low level of B12, although I'm paleo. I know, right? She wanted to see if I got um, MTHFR mutation, which inhibits the absorption of B9. We went for the company 23andMe. Uh, this test is directly available only in certain countries. And in Hong Kong, you can have it done through certain doctors for 2,000 Hong Kong dollars. You get a sample kit, which you register on the 23andMe website, and you spit in a tube, and then you hand in your sample. One important thing, do not eat or drink anything two hours before you hand in your sample. And then six to eight weeks later, you get your results online. If you are interested about the MTHFR mutation, check the links below, uh, because I wrote a, po a blog post. Uh, what you need to know is that the CEO of the company, of 23andMe, uh, her name is Anne Wojcicki, let's try it again, Anne Wojcicki. Um, and she is the wife of, the, um, of a, one of the co-founders of Google. So there have been fears that Google could actually have access to all those, um, so all those test results and sell them to companies for research. But also to insurance companies, say um, your test shows that you are prone to certain diseases like, I don't know, diabetes, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, cancer, and then they could just raise the rate based on that information. Then again, Wojcicki defended 23andMe's privacy record uh, when she was asked if this is a possibility. I got my test back a few days ago, and good news, I don't have the MTHFR mutation, but um, there's so much more a DNA test can actually reveal, and it's quite fun. And we will have a look at my test results, uh, which we'll show you on my monitor. Okay, so this is my 23andMe dashboard. Uh, pretty straightforward. So um, after you've handed in your sample, it will take maybe up to two months uh, from uh, for your sample to get uh, to Canada, to the lab, and then to be processed by the lab. And then you will get an email that your results are ready and uh, basically it's uh, what you get first is your raw, da raw, raw data and um, so all this ancestry composition health overview will not be available yet for another 48 hours so this is where you can access your raw data if you don't want to use the service of any third parties uh, providers um, because of privacy issues uh, you will you can browse through your report yourself but yeah and but so if you if you're looking for a specific mutation you have to look in, uh, up in google on which gene it is and uh, it's snp So yeah, back here, lots of fun stuff to see. Um, ancestry composition, 98.6% uh, Asia, Southeast Asia, Asian, which isn't much of a big surprise since both my parents are Filipino. Um, they also go much more in detail. Let's have a look here. It's like, I'm not ashamed. So I let you have a peek. Yeah. So here it is, uh, funny, funny enough, I'm almost 1% Chinese and uh, Southern European, probably Spanish because the Philippines uh, used to be a Spanish colony, 
Also, quite a surprise, I have a little tiny bit of sub-Saharan African in me. No idea how that got in. Good. So, uh, back to the dashboard. But it will also tell you your Neanderthal ancestry. In my case, it's 2.2%. And uh, the most important thing you will spend most of your time on browsing is the health overview. First thing I was just looked at was traits. Also, um, like that, uh, traits has a quite entertaining factor. Um, the fact that I don't have an alcohol flush reaction is quite nice to know. Uh, I might, I mean, I knew that one already because I don't have the typical Asian flush. Drug response, you might want to look into this one if you are taking some kind of med medication, for instance, for heart conditions or diabetes. And then inherited conditions, also interesting to know. Um, yeah, what most people go directly for are the genetic risk factors. Uh, 23andMe will um, lock three conditions, which are uh, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and the marker for um, breast cancer. 23andMe will let you know that they have a genetic consultant you can speak to if you're concerned about any kind, uh, like about any of your results. And also uh, to let you know that you have to talk to a doctor and not try to self-diagnose because what you must know is, and many of you do already, is that it's actually uh, genes are a potential. So uh, having a mutation doesn't mean that this, uh, or having a gene doesn't mean a certain gene, doesn't mean that this gene is going to express itself. Once you have browsed all f through all the reports and it's it will take you a while there are still a few fun things you or can do so i mentioned the third party providers and uh, the ones i tried out were genetic genie uh, so genetic genie athletogen and nutra hacker so Genetic Genie is um, basically most people just use it to find out if they have the MTHFR mutation. Athletogen is actually also quite interesting, especially if, if you're an athlete, obviously. And it will give you a report about several things like motivation, what kind of endurance type you are, um, injury protection, how fast you recover. So this is also really fun to play around with. And the next one is Nutra Hacker. So this is, if you are interested in nutrition, also want to know if there are certain, um, uh, if uh, also if you want to know if there are certain um, supplements you have to take based on your genetic profile. NutraHacker is the thing to go. You will also have to fill out a questionnaire. Pretty, it doesn't take that long, but you have to make sure that you have actually answered every question. Otherwise you will have to do everything again. And once you've done that, you will get two detailed reports and then uh, this little thing, which is a tree, they call it the Nutra Hacker Detox Supplement Visualization Tool. Also, pretty cool. Okay, I hope most of these are covered through my diet and things to avoid. Yeah. So this is branch chain amino acids. For some reason, I can't take them. 
So if you click here, it will tell you which marker it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was supplementing with BCAA a lot, used to, but apparently I can't anymore. Okay. So these are the things to have a look at. So if you have any questions about 23andMe, where well, you can have it done in Hong Kong, let me know, comment below, and yeah, thanks for watching.